Roar! Hello everyone and welcome back to another Pony Dwarf Productions video. My name is Visual Pony and today we are reading the story The Easy Way Out by Mysterious Stranger. Okay, let me just preface this. I am not well. My voice is shot. I am having a flu or cold or whatever. It's not COVID. I took a COVID test, so don't worry. Anyhow, uh, so yeah, I am running a fever. So if I'm not 100%, uh, then I beg your pardon. I've, like, the last two days or three days, I have actually not been able to record at all and, uh, or do anything, really. So, yeah, I couldn't even look at a screen. So, let's hope this story is good and that I chose well, because the last story that I wanted to record turns out that Midnight already did it. Um, so, as always, there's an amazing list of those amazing people who keep donating to our channel and give us food budget for the month, because all of our other money goes for rent and utilities. Uh, and a food budget of under 80 bucks is not, a, is not a lot for two people and two cats. So, let's get into the meat of the story. The shortest human in Equestria story you'll ever read. Twilight Sparkle watched with a raised brow as the stallion sprawled across the couch in her living room choked up, causing tears to run down his sandy brown face. Twilight had experienced being around her friends while they were crying before, but being in the company of a complete stranger who was doing so was foreign to her. As a result, she wasn't quite sure how to respond. Rainbow Dash, who was leaning against the wall by the door, seemed unsympathetic to the display of raw emotion. I don't understand. Are you upset that I offered to help you get back to your... reality, Walter? Twilight asked tentatively. No, no, these are tears of joy! Walter sniffled, regaining some control. This is like the first good thing to happen to me since I got here. Besides Rainbow Dash saving me, that is. Twilight didn't have any difficulty believing Walter. His entire body was covered with scratches, bruises and a frightening amount of dried blood. It was a lot of physical abuse for a pony to take, especially for one that claimed to have been in Equestria for less than 20 minutes. Summoning magic for sapient life isn't something I've had much experience with, Twilight informed Walter. But I've read a lot on the subject. It's a simple matter to undo a summoning and send you back home. And I'll be a human again? Walter asked hopefully. Everything would be back to the way it was before, Twilight promised. I can send you back whenever you're ready. I'm ready now, Walter decided. Really? Already? Are you sure that's a good idea? Twilight asked. Walter barked at the question, clearly taken aback. What do you mean, am I sure? You think I wouldn't be sure about going home? Well, it's just that you haven't been here very long, you know? Twilight explained. I mean, you haven't even learned to walk as a pony yet. You literally had Rainbow Dash carry you all the way here. You should have seen him trying to learn how to talk with a pony's mouth. Rainbow Dash quipped. I could hardly see the point in learning how to walk with this body, Walter huffed. Rainbow Dash seemed very confident that you could fix my problem, so why bother? Besides, it was embarrassing enough to have her watch me as I forced to relearn speech with a foreign mouth. Why would I go through another hassle like that if you could just send me home? You didn't even try to learn to walk. You just cried and begged for me to carry you, Rainbow Dash said accusingly. For all you know, it would have taken you 10 seconds to figure it out. Well, excuse me for being a little needy after being abducted from my own planet. Walter snapped. Had you arrived in my reality, I wouldn't have treated you so coldly. No, 
I would have comforted you and did everything I could to help you cope with your terrifying new existence. I hardly think I would have been as helpless as you. Rainbow Dash scoffed. Bah! Continue on with your uncaring charade if you wish, Walter said with a dismissive hoof wave. It doesn't change the fact that you rescued me in my time of peril. Yeah, from a timber wolf. One timber wolf, Rainbow Dash said as she rolled her eyes. That's quite enough, both of you, Violet cut in. As I was saying, Walter, it might be hasty to send you home right away because you... I mean, we don't even know why you're here. Think about it. Just because you don't know how you got to Equestria doesn't mean your arrival here doesn't have some purpose. There may be forces at work here beyond our comprehension. What if there's a reason for you being here? What if you were to prevent some sort of disaster? What if you're supposed to learn something about yourself you never knew before? Are you so sure that you want to throw this chance away so soon? Yes, Walter said without hesitation. I didn't sign up for any of this crap. Even if it's your destiny to save Equestria? Twilight pressed. Not my problem, Walter insisted. I want to go home. Fine, have it your way. Twilight relented. If that's what you want, I'll send you back to your world. Twilight's horn glowed to life as she prepared the spell within her mind to send Walter home. A pulse exploded across the living room, causing momentary blindness for all. Once the light had vanished, Twilight glanced at the couch again. Walter was gone. The spell had worked. For a moment, a silence hung over the room. There may be forces at work here beyond our comprehension? Rainbow Dash repeated with a smirk. Twilight sighed, knowing full well there would be no escaping Rainbow Dash's taunting. I didn't want him to get mad at me, Twilight said defensively. Oh no, I'm sure Walter would have perfectly been fine with the fact that you had intentionally performed a summoning spell just so you could study someone from another reality, Rainbow Dash said sarcastically. Jeez, Twilight, the worst thing he could have done was cry at you, and he was already doing that. Well, the problem's fixed now, and I'm pretty sure that I know why it didn't bring him straight to the library. It was still an educational endeavor, Twilight concluded. Educational? Are you saying that you're going to try again? Rainbow Dash asked. I didn't exactly have much time to study him, Twilight pointed out. I'm sure the next one will be a lot more understanding if I don't drop him or her in the Everfree Forest. Well, I suppose you can do what you want. Rainbow Dash shrugged as she stopped leaning on the wall and started to walk out the door. You know where to find me if things don't work out. Rainbow Dash continued out the door before pausing as if she had just remembered something. Oh, and Twilight? Yes? Twilight prompted. If you're gonna try that again, maybe try to summon someone a little bit more heroic next time, huh?